what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Black Sam, Nipsey Hussle's brother, shared a heartfelt tribute to him at his funeral on Thursday. He provided some insight on what it was like to grow up in the same household as Nipsey. He shared his early brilliance. He said at 12 years old, Nipsey built a computer. He said the whole family was proud and just basically floored at his intelligence at an early age. He said Nip was always thinking ahead. And upon Nip's passing, he talked about how it affected him. He said his whole world dropped. It changed everything that he thought he understood. He said it has to be more past this for bro to go out like that. He also shared the significance of what it meant to own the lot that the Marathon clothing store was located at. That was Nipsey Hussle's baby, so to speak. He said that Nip was real proud of that lot, owning that lot. He said he didn't, he didn't know how they did it. He don't know how they did it, but they were able to purchase that lot. They made it happen. They pooled their resources and they bought that lot, the same lot that Nip used to slang his mixtapes out of his truck, the trunk of his car from. Now, that's a hell of a story in and of itself. He also said something that kind of, I was going to say kind of set me back, but it really didn't. It was just one of those, uh-huh. So, as you know, when Nip died, Los Angeles Police Department was like, yeah, you know, he was meeting with us to talk about gang culture and ending it, ending the, the gang violence and you know, Nip was a great guy and we're going to find the killer and da da da. And so for just a brief moment, you think that, wow, they really care about a black person, right? But then you find out what the world found out at the same time when Black Sam revealed at the funeral that it wasn't just a simple case. Purchasing the lot was not just a simple case of we have the money. We came up with the money. We got it. And you want to sell it and we're going to buy it. No. He said that the previous owner of the lot, when they, when they were in the lot initially, they were just renting the space. And the previous owner told him, hey, man, I got to let y'all go because... I'm getting pressure from the DA to kick y'all out. You know, they're saying that if I don't kick y'all out, they are going to shut me down. So Black Sam said that they found a way to actually purchase the lot. And they saved the clothing store by actually owning. So the DA, the LA Police Department, didn't really like Nip. They was fronting the whole time. They didn't want him there and they didn't want other black people hanging around on that corner. They didn't want them hanging around that lot. If you watch the funeral procession, as the funeral progressed, as the procession progressed, the police started falling back. The police presence started reducing significantly, right? It just started falling back. It started getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Almost if to say they wanted something bad to happen. They was looking for something to go down. But they got food. 
the people maintain their composure and the procession was a peaceful one. There was no violence. There was no disturbance. Only grieving, loving, and I would say people that was in a celebratory mood, so to speak, because it was a celebration of life. People loved Nip, and Nip deserved that love because he gave so much, and he deserved it. And so these people that was there, they were there to celebrate his life. And it's we're talking tens of thousands of people, and not one incident, not even a minor incident, but the police did fall off, especially by the time that they entered the, the, the intersection where the Marathon clothing store is, there was almost no police. They wanted something to go down. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. It's a cold game, man. Cold game. I salute all the people that was out there. I salute the people that watched it from their homes, from their businesses, from wherever you were, on your phone, whatever you did, you know, just the people that were supportive. I salute you. In the words of Nipsey Hussle, as Black Sam so eloquently put it, toward the end of his tribute to Nip. The marathon continues. What he did when he spoke those words is that he was trying to encourage people who was touched by Nipsey's passing to be a better version of themselves and to go out there and put the work in, to grind, to be the example that Nip set. I'm all in. What about you? No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.